Hi, my name is Derek Bryan and I head up the Oncology Business Unit at Roche Diagnostics here in Sydney. I've been passionate about oncology most of my working life and I've had the privilege to work in education and patient advocacy roles for a number of organisations, including with Melanoma Institute Australia. In my current role at Roche Diagnostics, I look after the Oncology Business Unit and I'm active in education, collaboration and advocacy. At a personal level, I'm a husband, a dad, and deeply connected in my local community. I feel so privileged to work in the area of cancer diagnostics. As like all of us, I'm regularly touched by the human impact of cancer on the lives of those around us and the people we love. Last year, it was estimated that there were just under 150,000 new cases of cancer diagnosed and just under 50,000 deaths from cancer, making it a leading cause of death in Australia. This figure is heartbreaking, especially when you consider that this number includes children, teenagers, young adults, parents of growing families and grandparents. For more than 120 years, Roche has been committed to improving healthcare. Our tests enable patients to receive a diagnosis quickly and reliably to get the right treatment at the right time. It is estimated that over 13,000 new cases of lung cancer will be diagnosed in Australia this year. Jane is a 40-year-old mum of two. She's a non-smoker and is diligent about health and fitness. Out jogging as she did every morning, Jane suddenly found herself gasping for breath. A trip to a local emergency room was just the beginning of a traumatic medical journey when she was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Her surgeon had told her she had as little as a month to live. After waiting 10 nerve wracking days for her results of her test to determine the best course of treatment for Jane, her oncologist contacted her with a message of hope. Jane had tested positive for anaplastic lymphoma kinase or ALK a gene that's found in a small percentage of all cases of non-small cell lung cancer, which meant that she was a candidate for a targeted therapy. Jane was left with little energy, feeling unwell and exhausted in the first few months of treatment when a doctor suggested a new targeted therapy. Jane had a complete metabolic response to the new treatment with no evidence of disease and minimal side effects from her daily medication. Patients like Jane wage a battle on two fronts, one against the tumour in their lung and the other against negative bias towards lung cancer patients. A stigma exists with 90% of Australians believing smoking is the only lung cancer risk factor, but in fact one in three women and one in 10 men who are diagnosed with lung cancer have no history of smoking. Though it's been quite a journey, five years on, Jane is feeling positive about the future. In the 1980s, the cancer survival rate was less than 50%. Today, almost 7 in 10 Australians will survive for at least 5 years after a cancer diagnosis, and in some cancers the survival is as high as 90%. However, there is still much work to be done. In oncology, perhaps more than any other disease area, early and accurate diagnosis is life-changing. Having experienced many cancer charity walks in my previous role with the Melanoma Institute Australia, with parents and grandparents holding hands tightly of their kids and grandkids and saying to me, I'm only here and able to do this because they caught me early with the tests and got me onto treatment. You know firsthand the difference early and accurate diagnosis and diagnostics can make. At Roche Diagnostics, in my role spanning education, collaboration and advocacy, I'll be working for those children, teenagers, young adults, parents of growing families and grandparents. Together, I have no doubt we can achieve better healthcare outcomes for all Australians.